Hello and welcome to the Indusind Bank presents The Finish Line, powered by News Wearables. I'm Saurav Ghoshal, and I'm going to be speaking to eight of India's top athletes who have given us the most iconic moments in Indian sport. This week, we are going to be speaking to India's only ever individual Olympic gold medalist, none other than Abhinav Bindra. Abhinav Bindra always says he started shooting to avoid more strenuous sports. But once he started, he was a prodigy. He made it to the 1998 Commonwealth Games as a 15-year-old and then the 2000 Sydney Olympics in his pet 10-meter rifle event when he was just 70. Though he did his best there, 590 was not enough to qualify for the finals and he finished 11th. Athens was different. He established an Olympic record in the qualifiers, shooting 597. But in the finals, an unstable floorboard upset his rhythm and he ended in a disappointing 7th place. To add to his issues, he had a severe back injury just after Athens and did not lift a rifle for over a year. But he came back and won the 2006 World Championships to qualify for the Olympics. It was time for redemption. It was time for Beijing. Hello Abhinav, thank you so much for joining us today. It's an absolute pleasure as always. Thank you, thank you for having me. Um, so I'm going to start, uh, you know, with your Olympic journey a little bit. My experience in Sydney was, was something which was an important experience because I finished 11th at the Olympics, just uh, uh, a point short of entering the, uh, the final of the Olympics. And I think that experience taught me that, you know, I have what I, I have it in me to stand up on this stage and perform. Of course, performing on that stage was nothing but pain for me personally because it was stress and it was pressure. Um, but it did give me some intrinsic belief and security that I can do it. And, you know, that's where my experience in Sydney was a very important experience that I had. The experience in Athens did teach me some very valuable lessons. And one of the most important lessons that I learned in Athens was detachment and detachment from the outcome to be very, very process oriented and to be um, very uh, involved in the process and try and take every vertical out of the equation. And that was the basis of my preparation for Beijing. Going into the Beijing uh, Olympics, I, you know, I had done everything humanly possible in my, in my, in, in my ability to, to prepare. Uh, and, um, you know, even before I shot my first shot, competition shot in Beijing, I was a winner in my own eyes. Uh, I had my own self-respect and to be very honest, that was the only thing that mattered. Um, and uh, yes, I was able to succeed and achieve my life's goal to win a gold medal at the Olympics. And uh, yes, so that was my journey up to, up to Beijing. I'm sure you'll have questions of uh, what I did post, so I'll keep quiet for now. The 11th of August 2008 is definitely one of the most memorable days in Indian sport. But what most of India doesn't quite know is that a few things went wrong that day. In fact, five minutes before your big final, you realized that the sight on your gun had been altered just a little bit. Now you were frantically trying to put it right, but things weren't quite clicking into gear. Describe that feeling of helplessness. What was going on in your mind and in your heart in that very moment? Yes, absolute panic. Uh, did not know what to do. Uh, but funnily enough, going into Beijing, I, you know, I had also trained for it one, on one of my simulations for uh, this uh, for for the final at Beijing. We had my coaches had put my sights out a little bit, but not to that extent. Uh, so the four in 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 in, in Beijing was an absolute shock. Uh, I was frozen for a moment or so. Um, I didn't know what to do. There was the first thing was just giving up, uh, but uh, then giving up was not an option. Uh, and then I decided that I have to fight and, you know, I have to try. Uh, and then I tried to get my sights working in order. I remember um, my last shot of my uh, sighting shots because we have limited time for this was still a big nine. And I was far away from the center. So I actually had to make a very quick mathematical calculation 
um, and give adjust my sights. And you know, mathematics uh, and me are not friends. I actually failed in my board exams in maths. Um, so I, I got that one right. And you know, my first shot of my um, Olympic final was a 10.7. Uh, and I only I just laughed, and you know, there, from there on, I, of course, uh, I shot the best ten shots of my life. So, Abhinav, you know those ten shots that you mentioned, which is probably the best ten shots of your life. You know, everything was working like clockwork. The rhythm was perfect. I'd like you to describe that feeling. You know, like because it's it's very very rare that that happens, even in practice and in competition. It's like once in a lifetime almost. So, what was that feeling? through your mind, through your heart, you know, every shot going almost as perfect as you could possibly dream of it to go. Yes, again, it was just um, uh, remaining really in the moment. Uh, I think that was that was a critical element of it. I was not thinking ahead at all. It was just one shot at a time. And um, yes, there, there, was, there was a storm, but you know, uh, because I had accepted uh, this storm, the storm did not really matter to me. Uh, it was something in the background which did not affect me. Uh, and I was just so immersed in the execution of my technique. I was not thinking about executing my technique. I was actually executing my technique. And that is the difference between uh, uh, really performing well uh, and not, uh, not at the highest level. You know, there's a very touching picture after your last shot uh, at Beijing with Gabby. You both are hugging each other and she shows you the thumbs up. And um, you still don't know actually whether you won gold. You know, you hit, uh, you shot a brilliant shot of 10.8, which is the best shot of your round. You still don't know and you ask her, did I win? And she says, yes, you won gold. What, at that very moment, like, what is your instant reaction? Like, what are you feeling emotion-wise at that very, very moment, at that split second? Well, I think uh, the, the greatest emotion that I felt was one of relief. Uh, because, you know, um, I was somebody, who, as I told you, my journey was obsessive in many ways. All my eggs were in one basket. Um, uh, certainly not a way that I promote to young athletes. Um, and... Um, it was a huge amount of relief that you know what I had set out to do in life uh, was I was able to achieve that. Um, so that was the greatest emotion that I felt. Of course, I was happy. It was the greatest thrill of my life. Um, I felt that thrill for maybe two seconds, and that's it. But uh, relief uh, and satisfaction and fulfillment was something I think was uh, was important. So I think all of us remember you getting on the podium. Uh, for the you know the medal ceremony and our national anthem playing, you're the first individual gold medalist for India at the Olympics. Still the only one. How did it feel listening to the national anthem for 52 seconds and realizing and understanding what you had achieved um, in the preceding time? Yeah, I think it was the greatest uh, moment of my life. It was the thrill of my life. It is something hard to describe in words. Um, uh, but I think, uh, you know, to a great level, that is what you work for. And it, uh, you know, to yes, you as athletes, we perform for ourselves. Uh, that is the reality. We, perform, you know, when we go out there and perform, the first thing is you perform for yourself. And then in turn, you perform for your own country. And, and to, to, to be in a position where you... Um, uh, achieve pride for your own nation and, and, and take it to uh, the highest step of the podium is something which gives you an immense amount of pride and you know um, that is what you know it's all about and those 52 seconds that's the 52 seconds that we work for but you also realize that you know those 52 seconds were made possible not just because of two hours of competition those 52 seconds were made possible because of uh, 15 years of hard work which was put in every single day it was put uh, up due to probably 250 uh, international flights that you took it was put up due to at least 20 moments of you wanting to give up it was put up due to probably three or four nervous vomits that you did before competition um, so you know it was you also think back to your entire journey uh, and everything flashes back uh, 
uh, in those 52 seconds and that is what flashed back to me on how i started off as this reluctant fat boy uh, and then actually went out to um, achieve the highest pinnacle of at least my sport so on that day abhinav uh, you know after you've done all your formalities like the dope tests the media interactions you take a taxi back to the village with a fellow shooter manchir singh and in the taxi you kind of tell him that what's the big deal why is everyone going berserk um in hindsight now do you think you can describe what that means to um uh, every indian and what that gold medal signifies to every indian considering that we still haven't had another gold medalist from the country since beijing uh being very honest no i cannot uh, because again i i remain a very process oriented human being i remain a individual who whose reward is in the journey uh i remain a human being uh, who values hard work who values the effort that is put in uh, much more than outcomes because outcome of a sporting event or outcome of a sporting competition is dependent on so many factors uh, coming together um so i really continue to value journeys um you know uh, i respect a lot of athletes i respect uh, how they are all working to overcome their own vulnerabilities and limitations uh, and that to me um is the real victory but of course uh, what i did realize was that it brought uh, a lot of happiness and a lot of pride to many many indians and uh, um i feel you know uh, humbled uh by the fact that i was uh this that this ordinary individual worked hard and had the capability of bringing a smile on everybody's face even if it was for a couple of seconds people felt good about themselves the country felt a little bit better uh and uh, that is again something very humbling and gratifying well i've enough on behalf of every indian i can safely say that thank you very much for achieving what you did because i think Uh, at the very least has given our country a sense of belief that it can happen that it can be achieved uh for me you know you're one of the most astute minds in indian sport and every conversation that i have with you is insightful to the next level and today was no different so thank you very very much for your time and hopefully uh next year we will have um another gold medalist from india as well but if not we do know that there are a lot of athletes from india trying their very best like you said on their journeys trying to reach their potential and do the best that they can so thank you again for your time and stay safe thank you thank you for having me so that was abhin of bindra telling us his story which culminated in india's first ever individual olympic gold medal and that undoubtedly has to be the innocent most bankable moment it's always inspiring to hear abhinav speak it's unbelievable to understand the level of preparation he went through to win that gold medal for india for most people that would almost be paranoia but for him for an olympic champion that was the bare minimum it's also incredible to understand the focus he got into to produce those final 10 shots which brought india the gold medal the way he detached himself from the outcome and focused just on the process to give india its biggest red letter day in olympic history august 11 2008 beijing olympics will forever be remembered as abhinav bindra's day when he brought home india's first ever individual olympic gold medal Indusind Bank is also very focused on specific sporting initiatives one of which is the rural champions program in partnership with the Man Desi Foundation which aims to support the development of over 55 athletes and make them champions in the disciplines of wrestling athletics and hockey sometimes a single moment defines success a fraction of a second makes a legacy and that legacy inspires an entire nation news wearables believes in holding on to such moments 
and honoring that individual's journey. So now it's time for the Muse Wearables contest question. Muse Wearables contest question. What was the score on the final shot that clinched the gold medal for Abhinav Bindra? Options A 10.8 B 10.5 C 10.3 D 10.9 Answer the question and stand a chance to win an exclusive timeless collection of a new age hybrid smartwatches from Muse. Simply follow these steps to enter the contest. Conditions apply.